Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope uh, you've been enjoying some of these uh, video Q and A's and tips uh, that I've accumulated. Again, all these questions normally come from a lot of the discussions we're having with most of you out there. And quite often, instead of trying to take notes, I hope these will be great guides. So today, what am I gonna talk about today? Um, interesting enough, um, I started putting some notes down about what is one question that I often get asked uh, in every meeting? Uh, there's several, but there's one that just keeps coming back, and that's cap table. And why is it so important? And I, it never dawns on me sometimes that uh, everybody has a different view why it's important or why do we need it and so on. So let's start with the genesis. So cap table, uh, you're going to hear terms like capitalization, uh, of, you know, that's another way of calling it, cap table management, or equity management. Basically, you're managing the issuance of the securities in your company. So regardless if you are a one person company, one person, when you created the entity, you incorporated it or you registered, you became the sole shareholder of that company. It, that's how it exists. Or a sole member in some cases because of LLCs. But the point is that you are one and then of course as time goes by you can add more because you are bringing on partners or you are raising capital so quite often what happens here this exercise is often left to uh, your lawyer or your somebody who's doing your record keeping uh, your cfo and the tools they normally use uh, in the past have been microsoft excel some sort of tracking where you put the person's name you know, the, the number of the quantity of securities, shares, or, or whatever it may be, uh, and price, and so on. Um, but, you know, up, most people would say, well, that's all we really need. But you have to look at it from a much, much broader uh, way as to why the cap table is so important. Um, and not only that, why it's important to manage it properly. This doesn't need to be difficult. So I'm trying not to complicate things and say, well, this is just going to complicate things. Everything we have right now is so simple. It, it may seem simple today, but here's four things that there's just no way for you to overcome as you grow your business. Now, this, is in, this is, does not apply to those who are, hey, I created a whole co, it's just myself, I'll never raise money. This is just purely for, you know, for my enjoyment. Okay, great. For everybody else who's trying to grow their business um, to add uh, employees, contractors, or advisors, board of directors, you're going to be issuing some form of security. So if you want to attract board of directors, you want to give them options. If you're raising capital, you can offer uh, equity or debt, and you're going to give some sort of warrant or anything like that. So you can imagine there's a mix of things. So because of that, you are uh, your book of records become extremely important because as you go through these through this journey, these capital market activity journeys, each time you do them, uh, if you don't do it properly from the beginning, you're going to end up repeating, and it's going to cost you more and more and more each time. So let me give you an example of that. So there are four reasons why a company needs to properly manage its cap table or equity management of their company. One, you're raising capital. Need I say more? Nobody's going to invest any amount of capital in your company without knowing what the current structure is, number of shares outstanding, have they been paid in full, have you completed everything? Nobody wants some sort of bubble coming in that, hey, I own 10 million shares, and it's like, what? What happened here? So raising capital is extremely important. Those doing due diligence on you will require that you know somebody validates all those transactions. So imagine, even though you got it in Excel, that's not validation. Often you go to your lawyers, your lawyers will review a subscription agreement, will then go to accounting to, to make sure the confirmation of payment. And then of course, as the board of directors approved it with a director's resolution, and last but not least, have they been issued a certificate, whether digital or paper form, whichever way, that is a transaction. How do you capture all that? How do you capture all those elements, right? So raising capital. <coughs> Number two. What if you are going through a merger or an acquisition, m and right? We're all going to go through it at one point in our lives, so we may be exploring it. So imagine somebody who's going to acquire you needs to know who are all the holders. If they're buying all your assets uh, or your, your 
uh, the shares on the company that, that that becomes important or or you're acquiring somebody else they also need to know what piece of the pie they're getting in this company so having your book of records and again you're going to go through the same exercise of raising capital to ensure that it was every transaction done properly so again it, the cost and typically these costs can be anywhere between ten thousand to fifty thousand or a hundred thousand i can give you some examples of companies that have paid tremendously amount of capital to get their books of book of records properly cleaned up Number three, going public through a reverse takeover, RTO, or an IPO, regardless of which one, you have to go through that due diligence exercise. You cannot go public. How do they know how many shares are fully outstanding, warrants, options, debentures, loans? All of that needs to be disclosed, and not only that, it needs to be validated. And again, they're going to go back to the same sequence as I just described, where they issued properly, where they properly are paid for, and everything, to make sure that there is no wrinkle because nobody wants an embarrassment in the public where, or in any transaction where somebody comes in and says, hey, I own a million or 10 million shares or whatever, 500, or even a one share, and it's not accounted for. So proper record keeping is pretty important. And then number four, regulatory. So regulatory, uh, this applies in certain countries only. It's not in every country. And it's sad for me to say that uh, we as companies would need to be told that we need to do. We should be doing it from a good governance perspective. But nevertheless, in certain countries like in the United States, um, they, they do require it. And often they will even indicate that you need a third party a vendor, uh, a registered vendor um, called a registered transfer agent uh, firm or provider to be able to provide you that service. And, and again, uh, it, it's, it's not going to be difficult. It's not meant to be. It can be very simple. And when you look at a cap table, what is it doing? Well, think about it. It's, it's, it's managing your entire structure, capitalization structure of your company, your shares, your options, warrants, debentures, promissory notes, safe, crowd safe, as some, as some platform, or a, a KISS instrument digital securities, tokenization of those securities. So that is a full cap table. And not only just putting it like an Excel or anything like that, it needs to have the other elements that have all the attributes that it needs in order to validate the transaction, such as director's resolution component to it, the the, the confirmation of payment, and of course, uh, the, the investor verification where, where it's needed. And of course, the, the alignment the shareholder. Let's not forget the shareholder. And this is the missing part that Excel can't do. You can't give uh, your shareholder, uh, John Doe, access to see just their part in Excel spreadsheet or in any sheet. So you need a platform that be able to not only allow you to manage that real time for your shareholder then to then be able to view what they own along with all the documents associated with the transaction they did with you. You know, that that's really... The, the, the importance of it, it keeps everybody aligned. That's one. Number two, when you do additional capital activities in the future, your book of records are properly managed. And more importantly, all the checks and balances are there to ensure that you don't have to spend any more money as you move forward to be able to demonstrate that you've done everything right. So you can imagine that um, the key is it's, a, it, it, it's transforming the way you're doing it now in Excel or Word or whatever you mean and into a, a program. And when you look at a program, you have to look at the whole component of it. No cap table can exist without the corporate records of the company. The cap table cannot exist without the board of directors. The cap table cannot exist without the shareholders. So you need to look at all those components. And that's what we've done at, at CoreConnects. We, we didn't just look at it. Anybody can build something on Excel spreadsheet and show you information. That's great. But what you really need is you need a way to bring everyone together. Everybody's entitled to see what they're entitled to do, uh, a view uh, from a shareholder perspective, from a board of directors, management, you know, CFO, legal perspective and all that, and be able to be in one platform. And not only that, be able to deliver it directly on your website because let's not forget these are your shareholders not ours they should be coming to your website 
they should be logging in through your website to view how many shares they own or how many securities they have in your company so you can communicate with them and you can report to them in one place. So I hope this was informative to you. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. I'm happy to provide a quick glimpse uh, video of anything that uh, piques your mind. Um, and look forward to talking to you soon. All right, take care, everyone.